Rory McIlroy, arguably one of the most talented players uh, that we have seen in golf in recent times. He's not really been on form and not really been winning as much as late, but he's still just a fantastic player. He drives the ball so far for such a small, small framed guy. Now, if you look at his setup position quite carefully, you'll notice that the butt end of the club, so the top end of the, the, the grip, it sits above and outside his toe line, which is something Rory likes to do to allow him to control the, uh, his hand path in order to create the draw shapes that he likes to see with his driver. Very, very rarely do we see anything other than a straight drive or a slight right to left shot. Something that, you know, Tiger Woods was trying to copy um, McElroy's swing to do this, but finds it really, really difficult. Rory does it extremely well, so maybe have a look at your, your own setup positions and see where your hands lie and uh, the butt end of the club is in terms of your feet. Maybe we just need to create a little bit more space for your hands to, to come through the shot. Um, also, just a couple of little things here for, from Rory. He coils up beautifully in the backswing with some really, really good upper body rotation, which is allowing him to explode in the downswing with a very effective squatting motion. What a lot of people don't know and now, and probably more so in, in, in history, the ground is a really, really good platform for you to use as a, uh, for force and power in the swing. The legs are as much as important as the, your hands and arms in the swing now, guys. So really pay attention to how your body's moving in the downswing and how you use the ground and your legs as a force platform. Current world number one, Justin Rose. What a fantastic setup! Notice how softly his arms hang um, in the, the address position, staying nice and relaxed um, during this setup position. It's key to ensuring that he gets a smooth and proper takeaway. Any tension at this point in your swing, followers, then you're going to be coming into problems throughout the swing. You'll not be able to rotate as efficiently. Now from the top of the back swing, we do see Justin's right elbow move downwards towards his right hip, helping him shallow the club out in the downswing. Then you'll notice that midway down in the downswing transition, his right shoulder really moves down and underneath the chin, allowing him to hit up on the ball. If you can replicate these moves, you'll start to see longer, straighter drives. As many golfers out there, what we tend to see is golf coaches a lot of people will try and hit the ball really hard from the top of the swing. They get steep on it and they tend to swing out to in uh, in terms of the swing path. Have a look at Justin, probably one of the better drivers out there. Uh, very rarely it's offline. Replicate these moves and I promise you it's going to be better. <laughs> 